back. The chorus against Tamil Nadu government's control over temples is growing louder. The, in fact, the chorus to free them is growing louder now. The pontiff of the Madurai Adhinam, a Tamil Shaivite monastery, slammed the government and accused it of plundering the temple of its riches. The pontiff also accused the Hindu Religious and Charitable Endowment Department of the state government. He said it should be disbanded because they are riddled with corruption. A war of words has erupted between the pontiff and the minister in charge of the DMK. Listen in. And the judge to kill a character in a photo, who would pay a minute of a number two, Yingling Kalandu would be as an altruism, Aduma or Nelamada Yurkum. Mother Yadina, Torandu, Arasil Vadi, a poor patient is facing under Pade, in the Samayana Pore, Anamadikadu. Agave, Adinangal, Yangalakiarum, Adarawave, Ille, Adarawave, Ille, and the poor or Totra in Ruaka, Mother Yadina, which killed her. Now, the HRNC department administers more than 44,000 temples and trusts in the state of Tamil Nadu. The Adhinam has demanded a formation of a separate committee that is to be headed by a judge and a panel of lawyers and not by the ruling party's members. We are ready to submit ourselves to a legally constituted and a committee which has got legal jurisdiction. So we have got accounts as per our temple shuttam which has been in existence for more than 200 years and we are maintaining the accounts properly and we submit that we are ready to submit. As far as we are concerned, we have got no burden or nothing. You know that litigation has been fought by the Dikshidas for more than 70 years. Three rounds of litigation has ended in the final judgment in 6-1-2014. Therefore, there is no occasion or anything to reopen such a settled issue. Now the chorus is growing from activists who want a probe given the gravity of the allegations against the ruling DMK. Listen in. Madurai Adhinam has for centuries been a very sacred space for Hindu community and when such a senior pontiff, a spiritual person is raising an allegation, a complaint, it should be taken seriously. We all know that many members of DMK are atheists, they are not interested in Hindu community temples and deities. So when he raises that, especially of corruption, it assumes a very important space. We all believe uh, spiritual leaders more than politicians and I hope Madurai Adhinam pontiff's complaint is taken very seriously. See, that is what the uh, HRNC Act also says and also the Supreme Court uh, judgment on Nataraja Temple issue. So, the um, government should understand what the Act is, the government should understand what the judgment is also. So, uh, unnecessarily, unwantedly, the uh, present government, due to the instigation of uh, some evil forces like, you know, Makkal Adhigaram and uh, some fringe elements, fringe groups, they are trying to disturb the peace at the temple and we are seeing it regularly.